Hey everybody, it's Rolls the Gamer. We're back with the Sonic Adventure playthrough. This is the second part and the Amy story. It is part 19 or 18, my bad. Can you believe it? You come this far? It's what a strange long journey it's been. I'm so happy. I don't think that was in any of the yearbooks that I had. Hey, as of this recording, this is the first one I think since. Maybe, I'm not sure. Um, hey. College graduate. So that happened. There's, you know, it's... I suppose because I already have a full-time job and kind of have prospects on the horizon, it's not the big, uh, to-do that other people would make of it. See, I, ca I came down here and I didn't know what was... Are those anything? And they weren't, so... My mystery not really solved, but... And I hate these cranks here, they suck. I am, uh... In the upcoming... LP that'll follow the posting of this once it's complete. Got like 30 parts done already. Now, I didn't put the vocal tracks to them yet, but that's unprecedented. The, uh, the playthrough before the Majora's Mask one that was super long, this one's gonna be even longer and better yet, um, it's easier to record, like it's not as taxing on my computer. I don't know, emulating an N64 game was a lot, takes a lot more power than you think it might. Which reminds me, um, I left a Final Fantasy X like appreciation group, I was <laughs> on Facebook. Um, I'm in, in a lot of Final Fantasy groups because hey it shares you know topics I'm interested in but shit this one was like all right here's what here's what the deal was they say listen we can't talk about emulation here and I everyone's like why not or someone's like why not and uh, the the comeback response was um, you don't think Square Enix would sue people? I don't know why I'm using an affected tone, but yes. Um, no, I don't, as a matter of fact. Because, unless you're distributing the file, it's perfectly fine to talk about emulation. It's not some big, dirty piracy word. The Pirate Bay has been fucked with, too, but we'll get, back, we'll get to that at another point. Anyway, um... Yeah, it's not against, like, you can emulate as long as you own an actual copy of the game. Um, this one I actually do own. I own two physical copies of, so it's playing by the rules. No, no, this wasn't, this game wasn't emulated. This was recorded uh, with the capture software I borrowed from Modern Free. But, um, when did groups like that get so PC to the point where they're like I don't know if I want to be a part of it. I actually left the group um cause there was an argument then I, I'm not fucking with you in the comments where someone's like I don't see what the deal is la da da and uh you know kind of the point I made but um the response to that I'm just recalling this all from memory, so forgive me if I uh, break, have to use the pregnant pause for a moment. But uh, the response to that was basically like, you're using foul language, and he said something like retarded or something, some word like that. And someone posted, I don't know if I can condone the use of the R word. Now, that's what made me leave the group, I think. Calling it the R word. Are you? S oh. It must be great for the future generations that are gonna come after us and have to be so politically correct they can't say anything anymore. 
I mean, if it's a good fun and we're joking around, say what you want to say. That'd be like me getting upset for people making fun of my weight. I will get upset, but if I know you, and even more than that, if it's funny, I'm fine with it. As long as it's funny. Like, if you're, if you're gonna be a dick about it, then you're gonna get told that you're a dick. But if it's in good humor, and you're, especially if you're a friend of mine, I don't care. Because I can come back at you with something. That's what friendship is. I can razz on each other. It's great. Call me a fat drunk, and I call you, like, I don't know, an old asshole or something. Young asshole. Either, you know, it's open to possibilities here, people. Anyhow, this puzzle here is some bullshit of the highest caliber. Well, this one's not as bad because you don't have a robot chasing you. Yet. Set it down just right or it won't do its little auto activation sequence. Oh. Come on. Yeah, we're coming up on the uh, the end here of not not the playthrough really, but we're coming into like the final stretch of it, I'd say. Five episodes or so to go. And uh if even that, shit. Cause we have this, we have Amy after this, and we have Knuckles to do yet. Which I actually completed before the Amy story, I just wanted to do the Knuckles parts last, cause... Uh, I liked them, you know? And it kinda fits better with the story to do his last. I probably said this before in this playthrough, but uh... It like, actually gives him a story, so... It's pretty interesting. As opposed to what Sega's just doing with him now. Which amounts to... Um... He's the brainy... Uh, he's the brainless... Fucker of the team and shit. Now, up here... Uh... On this platform... Unless you step in a certain area... Zero won't come out... To ch see? There it is. You had to be... A little bit careful with it. Like, I'm not even trying... At this point, you know all about fighting him. So it ain't no thing, you know? <laughs> oh, one in the hole, that's all that matters to me. I can lose that shield, I don't care. Um, oh, I know where this one is. I think past me knows too. Good, good job past me. Jump it. Damn it! Hey look, I'm using first person view. That's the only time that will ever happen. So you have to kind of, uh... Watch your, like I said, if you watch your steps, he won't come back. Makes it a little easier. I don't know why they even had to have this little puzzle in here to begin with, though, because it's not really um, necessary, wouldn't be the correct word for it. So, you know, just a thought. Oh, man. So this will be coming out uh, before New Year's. And, uh, unfortunately, like, Christmas night. And the uh, Chris night of Christmas Eve. I will be at work. Um, please can I have a 9 to 5 job, Universe, if you're listening? I've applied around for a few other places, but it's like, I've kind of paid my dues with a night shift and somehow getting the best... Uh, grades overall that I've got recently. My grades while working this 
nighttime job are higher than they were before. Like, I got all B's, but before I'd have like an A, a B, two C, you know, something like that. But generally, it's higher. Which, like, how the fuck does that happen? Meanwhile, a flashback with Amy. I don't know what to call this thing <laughs> approaching her because. You clearly do not have a fucking chance with Amy. Huh? What's this? I really like the past a kid in the world. It's pretty it's pretty happening. Anyhow. Pardon me. I did a little wee yell on there. I just kind of woke up on this glorious Tuesday. My, my, for all intents and purposes, my Saturday from work. Fuck walking. But, uh, no. Oh, I love the hammer jump so much. Quickest goddamn way to get around, I swear. Hmm. Not much to say, because we've been here before. You know? But here's the cutscene. Chows, I don't know what you are, but you frighten me. Don't be afraid. It's a Final Fantasy battle theme title. Oh, hey, that's, yeah, that's right. I gotta talk about that. Um, I'm sure I'll update in future commentary about it, but, uh,. So, Final Fantasy, uh, there's an orchestral show in the Distant Worlds Tour. There's music from Final Fantasy performed by an orchestra in New Jersey at the end of this month that I'm trying to get to. If I do, I might produce an on-site kind of video of me in Jersey and uh, doing the damn thing. Because I think it would be interesting. But, you know... Uh, tickets for the cheapest ticket, I think, is like 45 bucks. So get on that shit if you're in the area. You don't have to meet up with me or anything. In fact, I prefer you didn't if I don't already know you. <laughs> God, I, that sounds so mean and antisocial. I mean, like, don't three or four listeners who will watch every episode of this don't look for me. No, but, um... Man, shit, I'm just fucking around now. No, the, uh... The show will be good, though. It's, it's kind of one of those things where I kind of... The day off, before, and... The day after is actually the day of the Super Bowl, so... Requesting those three days, and work wants you to take off a certain amount of days. It's like it all falls into the wheelhouse, but... I won't know until two weeks from the date if I have the days off. So, let's hope those tickets fucking last, huh? You heard that that was my phone charged all the way up I don't know why the app um, feels the need to sound like a doorbell but it does and that's camp and we're not tired of this boss fight scene yet are we no, we are. That's 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 sarcasm. Please stop. Please stop, Mr. Robot. He's my friend. Amy, that's one of Eggman's clunkers. Out of my way. Clunkers. Cash for Eggman's clunkers. Help me before by letting me escape. I don't know why Amy has a lisp in this. Or I said this before too, but that's the most overused cutscene in this goddamn game. And yeah. Uh, 
That car doesn't know what it wants to do, does it? Gonna move after we land. Oh shit, it's the Oh, there you go. Finally! Fucking weirdo in the vehicle. Fly, Tails! Hope you find your dad! Skewing me, it seems. I should... That's the fucking line of a century, isn't it? I should be more independent. Oh, uh, what a bitch. A Rooney Dooney. I have also been watching uh, Pendant. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I just got into it. It's Watch that shit. You'll like it. If you like the Marvel movies because they're intelligently written, you'll like it. Just don't expect to see fucking, like, Captain America or Thor, you know? Because it's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., not Avengers of S.H.I.E.L.D. To the Mystic Ruins. They're mystical. And it is dark as night. Oh, man. You know, for as kind of cutting edge as this game was at the time when it came out, it really was. It kind of blew me away, you know, the graphics and everything. Because I had this before I had uh, PlayStation 2 or anything, you know, co comparable, really. So it was like, wow. But, uh, not too many, not too many rendered worlds. I mean, hub world kind of thing, you know? You can't really hold that against it, but at the same time, in, like, today's game, like, I was playing, uh, I actually beat the other week, uh, Dragon Age Origins. You put it against something like that, and you can see how environmental design has really stepped up, you know. I still think the best game in that regards is probably Skyrim. Fucking landscape is breathtaking. Anyway, I'm just wandering around in the egg carry. I know the uh, final strikes are done here, but I don't know what's... Well, what the fuck is my mission right now? So, you know, that's a landing strip, I don't want to go there. Why am I going back up? Um, oh, okay. Um, to, to call? Help? Where is, where is Christmas? How do I even... How do I do? What is... What does freedom mean to me? I don't... Get... I don't know... Um... 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 No... no. Oh... Okay, um... Tropical coconuts, noodle, noodle. Uh, we'll 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 see you next time and take it easy, I guess.